Russia's Prigozhin remains under investigation for mutiny. Here's a summary of the article. Authenticate users, apply security measures, and prevent spam and abuse, and if you do not want us and our partners to use cookies and personal data for these additional purposes, click, reject all. If you would like to customize your choices, click, manage privacy settings. You can change your choices at any time by clicking on the privacy and cookie settings or privacy dashboard links on our sites and apps. This post received a score of 10,000 with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This will likely go down as one of the worst coups in history, because apart from Lukashenko literally everyone else lost. Putin looked like he had zero grip on the situation, and after a meaningless morning address disappeared for the whole day while the mutineers marched on Moscow. He didn't even claim to conduct the successful negotiations. Lukashenko did that the military and the police looked pathetic, as two cities were captured with zero resistance or involvement the legislative powers looked ridiculous, as suddenly the mutineers who were promised swift punishment by Putin suddenly turn into, but they have done nothing wrong? Guys not to mention Putin asking Kaditov to intervene. You know, asking illegal mercenaries to fight other illegal mercenaries overall it's a complete mess and the beginning of the crumbling of the central power. This war has really been a disaster for Putin's Russia. The sheer incompetence is astounding. Hopefully it ends sooner rather than later and without too much additional bloodshed. Today I learned, corrupt gangsters really are not suited to running a country. Who knew? And yet they run a whole shitload of countries. Here's the thing most people miss when talking politics, most governments work. Capitalism, monarchism, communist despotism, all the ships do a decent job staying afloat. Some are decidedly better to live in, but so long as some structure exists, people will find their place on that structure and actively work to maintain that structure giving it more buoyancy. Corrupt gangsters run countries because countries fail to protect themselves from corruption and because it's not actually that hard to keep a country afloat when most are motivated to not sink with the ship. Sail on, sail on, O oh mighty ship of state. I have seen the future baby it is murder. Well, at least he'll be safe in Belarus. Yeep, safe as houses. Houses without windows or houses with windows. Either cases. Wild bullets are in mating season, and hell they do sting. The world's most elaborate suicide. Suicide with extra steps he could had just walked of the window and saved everybody's time. Well he did shoot down multiple Russian helicopters so that is something. One the most bizarre event in modern time. It was fucking great watching it, live. It had a chance of being in top 5 most significant historical events in decades. Was so sad when I came back and it had completely fizzled out. Sad face. Same. Went out for weekend errands with my wife, which took a few hours. Came back home in the afternoon super excited to see what the status update was, only to discover that he backed down. Can't believe that morning was a real possibility of the end of this major war and potential collapse, overthrowing of Russia and Putin. I think this guy screwed himself either way, but he has nothing to show for it now. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.